If you're watching your weight, you want each and every meal to not only be tasty, but healthy from beginning to end. Registered dietitian Jessica Lowe joins us from the Smart Medicine Kitchen to help us do just that. Jessica, what's on the menu? Hey Kim, today we're talking about salads. Whether you're having your salad at the beginning of the meal or as your meal, you don't want to fall into the trap of thinking that all salads are good for us. Some of our old favorite salad ingredients can add a lot of additional calories and fat and really wreck the nutritional value of a salad. Things like bacon, pepperoni, your whole fat cheeses, your higher fat dressings, a lot of those ingredients can be substituted for some of the healthier alternatives that uh, we're displaying for you here today. First I want to show you the foundation of a good healthy salad. Start with a green leafy lettuce such as romaine, green leaf lettuce, red leaf lettuce, or even endive. They add a lot more nutrients to a salad than your light iceberg lettuce can. Next I want to show you some really healthy alternatives, some new trends in salad toppings that I think you're going to enjoy. The first one is dried cranberries. Dried cranberries are very rich in nutrients and they can add fiber and a lot of tang to your salad. Really great alternative to some cheeses um, and higher fat items. The next ingredient that I want to show you today is walnuts. Walnuts are a heart healthy type of fat. They're an omega-3 fatty acid which will actually help to lower our bad cholesterol. The next topping that I want to show you is garbanzo beans or chickpeas which add a lot of fiber and bulk to a salad particularly if it's at your meal. You're going to sustain the feeling of fullness a lot longer adding something like chickpeas to your salad because of the fiber content. The next trend in salad toppings I want to tell you about is fruit such as apples on salad, pear slices on salad, and even mandarin oranges. Fruit can add a lot of variety to salads, so change it up. The next ingredient that I want to show you is an alternative to traditional shredded cheese. It's low-fat feta cheese. Your lower-fat cheeses provide the same amount of calcium and, and vitamin D that you're going to get from your higher-fat cheeses, but offer less calories and less saturated fat. So to add a little variety, choose a feta or a crumbled cheese in the lower-fat variety. The last ingredient that I want to tell you about today is sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are a great alternative to croutons, which don't add a lot of nutrient value to your salad. So if you like a little texture, a little crunch on your salad, choose sunflower seeds because they're a much healthier alternative than some of your higher fat items. Jessica, great job.